Hello, my lovely Capricorn. How are you, loves? I hope everybody's well. Capricorn, today we'll do your reading for the second week of August. Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Take what resonates, loves. Leave what doesn't. As you always know, these are general readings. Might resonate completely with you. And many times might feel like a personal reading. And many times will be just a few messages here for you. And of course, let's not be judging, loves. And as well, we are in the Lionsgate season as we go forward this week. Strong energies around us. And it's kind of take these energies as they come and ground yourself more. Well, let's do here for you this reading. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus Signs. What's the predictions? As you always know, this energy comes through right now but this situation you might deal with or you are dealing or you will deal definitely if you are here by the title or by any means you do have a message all right capricorn from the oracles here we have let your past go the burden of carrying your past around has made you weary dear one it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. And it's now gone. Something here you need to leave behind. Even it might seem hard to or it's one it's hard, but there I see here a Capricorn struggling for, for any reason here in a sense because it might not be your fault whatever happened but spirit says it is time okay it's a good time for you to release whatever is not yours let's hear what the spirit want to share with you capricorn and how this can be as you always know I do want to deliver just the positive messages, but sometimes for some of you, you need to listen what is here. And no matter what is positive or negative or not as positive as you want, Spirit says that lesson, that message is very valuable. Even many times not make sense at that time, you can review these readings as many times as you would like to. And as well, this reading has an extension you will find in the memberships. The join button for the membership is just next to the subscribe button. So see you there in the extending. But let's see here what we got for you, Capricorn. A choice. Lovers, Gemini energy here, but there is a choice. Whatever you need right now is a choice. But the choice is kind of not entirely yours. But that is in your benefit, King of Swords. Something here is gone. You definitely might be connected here with uh, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Specifically Gemini here. There is hurt. Somebody here might put you in another part. But it's kind of the decision you need to make. Don't make it on the emotional level. It's kind of this is what is the best decision for me. Even emotionally you kind of feel like I... It's hard. That's the struggle I've been seeing prior. But you know, this cannot continue the way it continued. So that needs to change. That needs to change something here. Spirit invites you, Capricorn, to choose you above and everybody and everything, whatever situation it might be. Strength. Hermit. Leo, Virgo energy here. Eight of Wands. And Spirit says there is not a time, is not a very good time for you to close yourself. Because it's a natural instinct to say that. Because when hard times are, it's kind of we are closing deep inside. Spirit says there are people who want to support you, who be around you. Two of Wands, Devil. And five of swords, ten of swords, yes, three of swords, queen of cups. 
I definitely see here Leo, Virgo, could be another Capricorn, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What I feel here, the one who closed themselves up will start talking, but I feel here you, you Capricorn, you, you made a decision. You made a decision and it's quite clear here, but somebody here will be very hurt or is hurt at this time. The situation will be overcome. But for many of you, as this card is right in the middle, which is your major arcana, this is on you, loves. Whatever decision you make is on you. It's kind of, you got to put yourself up front of everything and anything. Even my seems selfish here. Because it's kind of, you do what is right for you. So what I'm feeling here, definitely there is a strong lesson to be learned. And I feel here will be overcome whatever hardship you've gone through or this person. But something here is definitely ending. Somebody here choose a different path or a different direction in life. Death. There is a transformational energy here. Let's see here. Five of Swords. It's kind of the words hurt, but I feel here is somebody here being honest. Whatever being here. Let's see. Five of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Chariot. Yeah. Somebody here is moving solo into, into a different phase of their life. And I feel here that's you. Yeah, it's like this is what I want at this time. And it's kind of don't take it personally, but this is what I do want. Okay. Ten of Swords. Six of Wands. Four of Cups. Somebody might even say, you know, great. If you want this, it's absolutely okay with me. But deep, deep inside... This person hurts very badly. They still keep in an eye on you because they still want to be with you. What I feel here was not a give and take, whatever was the situation here. Could be a good time, you spend a good time with this person where you had a good, a good time, but somebody here made the decision to move away. And it's kind of, it's your decision, Capricorn. Yeah, you you choose to walk away. You choose to move forward. Queen of Cups, speak to me here. Two of Pentacles. Queen, Knight of Pentacles. One more. And Ace of Pentacles. All right, loves. The person, the person who you are connected here could be an air sign, could be a water sign here. But it shows me here that one of you had two people. And it's, it shows me here that this water sign. Or you could have two people. Okay? And I feel here one of you had a new beginning somewhere else. That's what I'm feeling here right now. Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody walked away from a third party. He ended that third party here for a new beginning somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. So, clarifying here, this Five of Cups. Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands, and Ace of Wands. Somebody here has a new beginning somewhere else. Somebody here's here choose somebody over the other one and the other one feels like at first they feel okay great I'll find somebody better and things like that but now I don't feel so if you were the, that one or the person who you are connected here but it seems to me that you might have two people here to choose from or the other person somebody here definitely choose somebody else 
if this water sign had two people here, it's kind of you removed yourself from them. It's like, whatever, if you don't really know with who to start a life, you gotta pick. Somebody here pick a, an, an air sign. Either you, either this water sign. Somebody here pick somebody else over somebody here. So that, that will be, you know, the communication here. I feel also you might move away from a different location, from a location to another location. But I feel here uh, there is a Capricorn here, very firm, very much like, you know, I know what I got to do. And seemed a little harsh on the person, whatever you talk them. But this is very, you know, strong cards, confident cards. You know, I'm moving forward. This is what I want. And this is who I want to be. A little like, you know, too sure for themselves. And I feel here this is you, loves. I know what I want. Somebody says that, you know. I am the one who create my own destiny. So... There is movement for me. It's like you are very positive on your own. But to move on from this was kind of hard for you. And as as hard as used to be or seems to be, I feel here now it's kind of a release. That's kind of let your past go. With who didn't really work out things. Because it could be movement forward and stop. Movement forward and stop. Happiness. The talk was, you know, immature. So somebody here didn't really know what they want. So definitely I see strongly a your sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you, Capricorn, and a water sign. For some of you, it might feel like, you know, I, I don't know who I truly love. Somebody really needs to figure out that with the the, the hermit energy. Took took their uh, quite a little to figure it out, yeah. Full energy. Moon. Somebody here feel like, you know, it's it's hard to make a decision because the unknown... It's hard to make a decision because of unknown. It was very hard to make a decision to choose a different path because it seems scary. Whatever it's new, it's scary. A totally different path feels kind of like I'm not sure if that will work for me. But I feel here definitely somebody choose something else. Even was, you know, fearful i'm fearful to do so but somebody here really deeply reflects here it's like dare to believe it's kind of confront com, com, it's like a confrontation about either works either don't what you gotta lose off so that's the thing here for you, Capricorn. But let's see here, my darlings, what we got here and who you might deal here at this time. One card jumped, Aquarius. If you deal with an Aquarius, I will see in a extended here messages from this Aquarius. A Leo we have here, a Taurus. One more card spirit, thank you. And a Virgo. And underneath we have Libra. So if you deal with this zodiac signs, Libra, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, and Taurus, we'll get messages from them in the extended. And I want to thank each of you who are in tuning into these energies. And I do invite everyone who watch this video to subscribe, to be part of this beautiful family. And as well, for those of you who really want to know if you are dealing with any zodiac signs, you'll find the extended in 
the memberships. Thank you, loves. Have an awesome and abundant week ahead. Love and light to all of you. And of course, see you next time. Namaste.